Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this animation right here. Super simple, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna add is a cube. Keep it at the scale it's at. Hit Z and go to wireframe view. We're gonna head over to our modifiers and add a solidify. Now let's take the thickness and just bring it right around to the middle, right about there. Then take the solidify and copy it. And then take the thickness of the second one and just bring it right about there. So this is pretty good. Now go back to solid view and add a wireframe modifier. And then quickly let's just add an emission shader to our piece, give it a strength of 50 and then whatever color you wanna give it. And let's go to the rendered view. So this is it. This is how it looks, it's pretty cool. Now let's animate it. So what we need to do is go back into the modifiers um, and we're gonna animate the first one right here. So it's at thickness of 0.65. So remember that, because we want this to be a perfect loop. So hit right click, insert keyframe, go to frame 60. Make sure your frames are at 120 frames, or honestly, whatever speed you want. Just go to the middle of your frame and add the next. So we're just gonna bring it, and we're just gonna twist it till you like what it does. I'm gonna do right about there. I'm gonna insert a keyframe, go back here, and put 0 0.65, and it's a loop, insert keyframe. So. Now we can watch it. So that's basically what it's doing. Now we need to add our spinning rotation and another box around it. So in my piece, you can see there's a bit of magic to it, just something weird going on. See how the sides are disappearing. And so the way I did that was I added one more box around it, made sure it passed up the piece, and then I went in, added a principled shader, put my roughness all the way down, and put my transmission all the way up, and which is very important. Go down to your settings right here and turn on screen space refraction and that'll allow the glass to go through. Now, if this is still not working, go to your EV settings and go to screen space, refra screen space reflections, I almost couldn't pronounce that, and make sure refraction is on. And if it's not, it's just gonna be a black box. So make sure that's on. Now it's kind of weird, but that's just the EV preview. You're gonna have some, some weird things going on, but it's gonna look like this at the end. Okay, so now what we need to do is select the first cube, hold shift, select the second one, hit control P, and hit object. And that's gonna parent this cube, the, the wireframe, to this one, so we only need to animate one thing. So now we're gonna animate the, the twist. So select your second cube, go in and click um, keyframe on rotation X, go all the way to the end and click the right arrow to skip a frame. It's really important to make it a perfect loop. And then in the rotation, type in 360. So we're gonna rotate it at 360 degrees. So it's doing that and see how the glass is just adding this weird thing to the animation. So that's what's going on. And we're gonna animate it on one more axis, which is the Y axis. So click keyframe, go to the very end, Click the right arrow, skip a frame, and type in 360. And then click a keyframe. And now it animates. Just like that, it's pretty interesting. And then I'm just gonna go and shift A and add a camera. And make sure it's not passing up the camera in any part of the animation. And we're done. Um, for your export settings, Go over, make sure it's at 100. I keep it at 1920 by 1080. Right here, instead of PNG, FF MPEG video, your encoding, change it to MP4, it's super important. And then just pick wherever you're gonna save it. And then after that, you go up to here, render and render animation, and you just let it render and it'll save wherever you selected it to save. And that's it, super simple. Um, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.